right, uh, Sheriff Matt Haley, uh, what's been going on here today? So approximately 2.30 today, we received a uh, 911 call, um, came into our dispatch uh, subject uh, saying that he had a, a weapon and he was located in, inside of the uh, West Harrison High School. So immediately we, you know, we, we take these things serious. Um, you know, we shut the school down, lock, lock the school completely down. Um, and we started going through and, and clearing the school room by room and, and uh, we came up empty handed, which I'm glad we did a secondary search. We came up empty handed again. So at that point we started evacuating the students. Um, we were accept successful getting all the students out of the school. Uh, afterwards, uh, we went back in, checked the school again. Um, at, at this point, uh, we're waiting to get the, the, the kids off the campus. Uh, the bus riders are gonna go first. Um, we're gonna have the, uh, parents have picked the students up afterwards and then we will release the, the student drivers. Um, we've got the uh, Biloxi canine units here. They're going to go in and do a, a last week of school um, and you know, we'll be clear after that. Sheriff, how did you hear about this? Where did this information come from? Where did you get the tip? So it, came, it actually came into our 911 system. Um, it came in as a 911 call. Um, of course it came from a, a spoofed number. Uh, it comes back to nothing. Um, but uh, we do have some, some leads that, that we're working on right now. We understand there's a lot of uh, emergency vehicles here. Who's helping out during this case? So, you know, I'm very thankful for that. You know, anytime something like this happens, uh, we are overwhelmed with help. Uh, we had the MBI was out here, Border Patrol was out here, the Highway Patrol, Gulfport. Um, I mean, you name it, they were here. Uh, uh, so we're very thankful for all the help. This all happened around what time? Uh, it was approximately 2.30. Today. Right, right around time schools let right, now. Right around time schools let now. Any um, particular length of why this is happening? Is this an end of the school year prank or anything like that? What's, a, what's your first thought? My, my first thought is yes, it's an end of the school year prank, but you know, you can't treat it like that. You have to treat these things serious. And what do you say to the parents out there? Of course, a lot of the parents I was talking to today were concerned. They just weren't hearing anything and they just what was going on. So we immediately tried to put something out um, as soon as we knew, uh, uh, you know, that things were clear. Um, so, you know, that's all I can say. We we moved as quickly as, as we can. You know, I understand parents get frustrated sometimes, and, and I'm a parent too. I, I, I understand that. But, uh, you know, our, our, our main priority is the safety of the kids, and, and you know, we, we have to deal with that first. How prepared is your department to handle something like this? I, I think, as you can tell, we, we were we were pretty prepared for this. Um, you know, these officers train on a daily basis um, uh, for these situations. So uh, I'm proud of my guys and, and I'm proud of all of the uh, help that we have. As, as, uh, as a father, hearing that phone call come out, it, unreported at the school, what, what is that? It, what it's it's, it's gut-wrenching. You know, I have a niece that's in this school right now, so I, I can only imagine how she feels and how the students feel. But, um, you know, again, we take these things serious um, and, and I'm sure you, you can see by the, the response of law enforcement that we do take it serious. Y'all gonna be on scene for a while? We're gonna be on scene for a while, I until until everything is clear. I have a quick question. Um, on Facebook, we saw a lot of rumors about, you know, there were kids in this school with guns and yada, yada, yada. What can you say to some of these like Facebook rumors? I don't know if you've seen any of them yet, but what you know, can you say that's, to that? that's, that's a bad thing about social media um, is because, you know, one person says something and by the time it gets to the 10th person, it, it's, it's, it's blown completely out of, of proportion. Um, you know, I, I, I would say, you know, the best thing you can do is stay off of social media because you never know what you're gonna turn something into.